Soul Studio. Soul Studio. So the youth services budget is being slashed by 75% after a cut of £41 million to the council's overall budget. Many youth centres are being forced to shut down, devastating inner city areas, leaving young people with nothing else to do but roam the streets. Everyone knows what happens on the streets. Like, people are just getting stabbed up, people are getting robbed, people are getting their house burgled and bare stuff are going on right now. Bare stuff is crazy. But when they done that youth club stuff, it was just like a a place that where everyone could go like and just get each other just get people off the streets like have them doing something better than being on the roads robbing and that but with the combined support of many local communities and passionate staff many of these youth centers have been able to remain open one example of this is TSB youth space in Walthamstow I feel like I'm in a good place Call it youth space on a Tuesday And I'm jamming and learning with my miss So don't be late I'm so fly, I mean no one can touch me I'm so high, I mean no one's on top of me I keep it flying, I mean I keep it constantly We will rise Yeah, um, my name's Steve, Steve Barnabas I am the director of the uh, Soul Project um, or otherly known as TSP Youth Space. The youth club, the, the, the idea and the concept of the Soul Project, um, Soul Project standing for supporting our unique Londoners, it's all about engaging young people in positive activities. We, th there needed to be something, there needed to be projects, there needed to be ways of engaging these young people to help them realise that they could be whoever they wanted to be, they could achieve their goals, they could get to wherever they wanted to get to. Um, so that's when I started planning and thinking about the ideas and of some kind of project that would engage young people. Unfortunately, um, a, a tragic situation hit our family and that was in 2004. Um, my cousin, a very talented young person who um, had just finished school, came out with fantastic GCSEs and had just started college, was killed. Um, from by another young person who thought it was okay to walk around and carry a knife. This tragic thing that happened to our family was kind of the gave me the push to leave my job and go out and set up the Soul Project um, because I just realised that you know it was really important that it really meant something. Our family, you know, uh, this crime that hit our family. We needed to do something, and we needed to do something where young people um, didn't feel the need to be out on the streets carrying knives, didn't feel the need to to um, just be hanging out with nothing to do, um, and, and, and getting themselves into trouble and getting into, into conflict. So that's where I just said, you know what, enough planning, enough thinking about it. You know, I need to get out and make the ideas of a youth project happen and work. So we've got this uh, fantastic youth club that runs every Tuesday and Wednesday and we run programs on Saturdays as well uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. and um, it's really, really well attended. We've got lots of young people that comes along to uh, the youth program doing street dance, graphic designs, vocal lessons, um, art programs, filmmaking, um, loads of different things, FIFA tournaments, you name it, we've got it going on in our youth club. Despite this positive attitude, the youth space still faces many obstacles, such as a drop in funding and a rise in local crime. And with all the budget cuts, um, with the current climate, the recession, etc., etc., it's very hard for us to do fundraising, bring in an income to make the youth club run. So that is one of our challenges at the moment getting the right level of funding to make sure that we can keep these activities going for the young people. Unfortunately we had another um, setback um, recently where um, the centre was broken into. Um, thieves came in, 
um, and not only did they steal nearly £10,000 worth of equipment such as our TV screens, um, DJing equipment, microphones, our Xboxes and Playstations and all the games, um, um, laptops, a lot of equipment that the young people use. Um, not only did they steal that but they did a lot of damage in and around the building where they had tried to smash windows, smash doors to gain entry to certain places. They stole our um, charity box which had a lot of charity money in it. Um, yeah, so these kind of things set us back because where we're looking to try and invest in new equipment, um, you know, having the old equipment still there means that we can actually provide more services, we can actually engage more young people um, and there we are trying to add um, and um, uh, upgrade our, our equipment um, and when something like this happens it means we have to kind of start all over again. However, TSB Youth Space is fighting back and their survival is thanks to a dedicated team of encouraging and supportive staff who understand the important role that the centre has to play. TSB Youth Space is a really good place for children to come and interact and play games and it's also a really nice safe environment for them to make new friends and just chill out and relax. So I've been doing a bit of voluntary work here and I'm seeing how positive effect that it's having on the young. It's giving them like two days a week something to do, they will come, have activities to play. I think the youth space is a lovely place to come for the children. I think it's a time for them to be away from family at home and away from school friends at school. Where they can come together and play games and do things that they're actually interested in, like singing, street dance. The kids like what their talents are, they can work on it, so they like music. We've got music with them, there's dancing, computer work. Also, our work and creative work. Um, I think it's really important that we have somewhere for the children to go because a lot of the time they're ending up on the streets and getting involved in gang culture. So that could be a good thing for like the neighbourhood council, families, and parents for all them to donate. So they'll be taking more children on. So there'll be more activities, and this will deter them from being outside in the streets, walking around aimlessly, nothing to do. We play lots of games like. We all interact with each other, it's really nice for the kids to come and actually speak to someone who's not a parent or a teacher but who's an elder to them. Because the main thing is that the children are our future so we need to invest into them for now so they can be our future for them. The feel-good atmosphere in the centre is addictive. Membership is growing and every day a new young person is given a new opportunity and engaging in activities that they may not have had the chance to do. On your DFS items, go home and take some vitamins. I go home and do some writing and stop chatting about content. I come to the youth club to just chill out and jam with my friends and just do different activities. You get to come and do extra activities outside of school, like, yeah, dancing and singing. It helped me when I need someone else to go when like, there's nothing to do at home, it cuts me in and it keeps me off the streets. And play computers and Xbox. Yeah, it keeps me out of trouble and it just gives me something to do. It helps me just explore creativity. Like, we've got music stuff here, we've got art stuff here. We can do whatever we want. PS3 and it's all free, like, no cost. Like, I love it here. I love it here, man. Yeah. As you can see, youth space is highly regarded by the community. One solution to the recent cuts could be corporate financial support. My name is Mary Eustow. I work for Deutsche Bank, um, which is an investment bank um, globally. Um, last year we were given a great opportunity to work with the Soul Project. The Soul Project is an excellent example of the kind of organisations that Deutsche Bank looks to support. They aim to strengthen families in the community by providing an environment that supports parents in their role of raising children helping them grow into better, adjusted and healthier young adults. And we've donated £1,000 to the Soul Project because we, Deutsche Bank, recognises the good work that um, the Soul Project does and it's you know, the kind of organisation that Deutsche Bank wants to get behind and support. Um, the Soul Project is a self-funding company and they need you know, the support of people like Deutsche Bank to be able to survive and do the, you know, make a difference in the community that they are doing at the moment.
Um, other corporations should donate, and um, certainly I think if they heard about the Soul Project, they would want to donate because they're an excellent example of um, you know building communities mm -hmm. and helping um, people better themselves. You know who are underprivileged and don't have the chances that other families and, and people would do. Um, so you know, it's a it's a it's a great organisation to get behind and support. Parents also see the benefits of TSB youth space. It's amazing. I mean, so my daughter Caitlin has been coming here um, for the last seven months, and I have seen such an amazing change in her. Her confidence has escalated. She's such a more um, outgoing child. In this um, particular area, there's not a lot of activities that they can go to and feel safe. So here, it's in an enclosed environment. The people who support them, they're very, very um, good. She will call names, she will see them on the streets and go, that's my teacher, that's my teacher. She's in the living room and she's dancing away and she's showing me what she's done. I've done this, 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 you know. Instead of, you know, hanging around the corner, she will, you know, she can use these techniques that she's learning now, which is the singing, the dancing, the interaction, the socialization. You know, the cameras, the, you know, the photography, what, the drama, you know, um, those things will help her, you know, in the future, you know, and as an only child as well, this is like her siblings, you know, because she can engage with so many people from so many different cultures, and, you know, even the teachers, everybody is so vastly different, they bring something unique that is helping her develop and grow. With our continued support from our local communities and businesses, TSB Youth Space will continue keeping our young people on the right track and giving them a place to go. So let's help raise awareness and let our young people know that TSB Youth Space is here for them. It should be a place where they can share ideas, develop new skills and improve the quality of living, free of charge. I want to be a train driver. I don't want to be a cab driver. Got my movement, put them electric left. Don't burn that light. I don't know what you would do without me. I don't know what else I would do. That's why I need you, baby. Woo. Behind my side. Hey! Nah. <laughs> it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop.